What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Let's jump right on in and get to talking about this new to 2023 John Deere Z370R electric mower. So let's start with what is the battery. So it is going to be a 58 volt lithium ion battery with a maximum of 3.56 kilowatt hours on this battery. Now, the kilowatt hours is the measurement that's gonna be used on these lithium ion batteries to specify the amount of time that they're going to run. Now, this also is going to vary depending on what we're going to be cutting, what we're gonna be using this mower, so on and so forth. But if we're looking at different competitive models, the kilowatt amp hours is what you are going to see as the main measuring figure. So whenever we look at this machine, we're gonna have a max of 3.56 and a normal of 3.20. But with that 3.56, this is gonna put us at 40% above the leading competitor on these battery powered mowers. So where that battery is gonna be located is gonna be right here at the rear underneath this hood. This hood can be easily removed by these four bolts that are on this. And this is gonna take a T25 star bit head. So I'll go ahead and take that loose so we can get a better look. Once we have those loose, this cover simply just lifts off. Now, keep in mind, we've been testing this mower out. We have done multiple other videos on that, and I will link those down in the description below of the different videos that we have done, and I'll also mention them throughout this review. But what we're gonna have back here, right here, the big square box is going to be our battery. Now you're gonna see multiple other electrical components here. And then we're also going to have our onboard smart charger right back here. So that is one nice feature about this mower as well. You do not have a charger that's going to come separate that you're gonna have to keep up with. You have that charger that is constantly on board here. All you need to be able to charge your machine is a standard extension cord that'll hook up to any 110 outlet that is grounded. And then your plug is gonna be right over here on the side where that extension cord can hook in and just like that, start to charge the machine. Now, some of the things about this battery, some of the things that get asked about is going to be, well, can I wash this mower? Yes, you can wash it. So this battery is gonna have an IP66 rating. This is going to be the ingress protection rating. IP66 means that it is going to be fully protected from dust, fully protected from water. So there is no issues with being able to wash this mower off. Also with lithium ion batteries, sometimes there is a weird thing about charging them and what temperature they need to be at. So whenever we are looking at this battery, one thing to keep in mind is you will not have any issues charging it anywhere between 32 degrees Fahrenheit and 114 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if we get outside of those realms, we're gonna wanna hold off on charging this machine until we get into those certain temperature ranges just to make sure that we are maintaining the longevity of this battery. So we wanna stay between those two points there. Now, another question that's gonna get asked is, what about if I ever have to replace this battery? Well, first of all, the battery is going to come with a five year, 200 hour, whichever comes first warranty standard whenever you buy the machine. But you also have the option of adding onto that to a 10 year, 400 hour warranty, whichever comes first. And as of right now in 2023, if you were to have any issues with this battery, you would need to take this to your local John Deere dealership. They are the only ones as of right now that can replace the battery. Now let's talk a little bit about battery life, charge time, when should I charge, how should I charge, so on and so forth. So runtime on this machine is gonna be advertised by John Deere to confidently mow two acres on a full charge. So we have gone through, done a video. Of course, this is going to be in the first of October when the grass is not so thick, not so full, but we were able to mow well over that two acre mark on a single battery charge. I'll make sure to leave a link to that video down in the description below so that you can check that out. But we blew that out of the water. So that will probably be a little bit different whenever you are in some thicker grass, but we did make sure that we could mow two acres 
on this mower. Now, as far as the charging goes, it's also gonna be advertised whenever you ask your dealers, things like that. They're going to say that six hours is going to be the charge time on this machine. We actually did a video testing that as well. We got a charge time of just under five hours, right at four hours and 50 minutes. And that's gonna be from zero all the way to 100. Now, the interesting thing too on this battery, Whenever you're running this and you get all the way down to zero, you're actually going to have what's called the go home mode. So once you get down into zero, you are going to have just enough battery life left to be able to get yourself back to the charging station or back to the trailer. So that is a really nice feature on this battery as well. Now, as far as when to charge it, with a lot of things, different batteries, lithium ion in our phones, in our drills or whatever our different battery products are, it's going to be suggested that you run that battery all the way down to zero. Now on these machines, you can do that. You do not have to do that, but if you do go ahead and run it down to zero, that's gonna be fine to charge it there. If you only run it down to 50%, you're gonna be good to go to charge it there as well. Pretty much whenever you feel like you need to plug this machine in, you can, and that is thanks to the smart charging system on this machine. So that smart charging system is going to act as a trickle charger or as a battery maintainer that you would have on your gas powered mowers. So over the winter months, as long as you have this stored, in a nice space that's going to be within that 32 degree range, hopefully above that 32 degree range, you're gonna be good to go leaving this machine in and charged to make sure that you are taking care of that battery and maintaining the life of that battery on this machine. Now, as we go ahead and get this sealed up, one other thing that I would say about this, being as that we are a battery powered mower here, one nice thing about this is you are not going to have any other maintenance points rather than keeping the battery on the charger to keep its life maintained and also changing those blades. So what we'll see here in a minute when we get to the deck is that we have no belts on this mower. Also, our transmission here is going to be a dual electric motor. So therefore, this does not have a hydrostatic transmission. There is no hydro hydraulic fluid that's running through two different transaxles. You're gonna have one transmission running two electric motors going out to those wheels that are all powered by the battery here. So therefore, virtually no service on this mower. All we have to do is make sure that we're keeping it plugged in and keeping our blades sharp. Now that we've spent an extensive amount of time here on the battery, because like I said, that is the part with the absolute most questions, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the mower here. We'll start at the front and make our way towards the back. So at the front, one thing that you're going to notice is that this is going to be set up on the exact same frame system as all of your other Z3 mowers. So what we're gonna have is the thick frame running across the front here, and then the frame rails running across the sides, going all the way out the back of this machine. You're also going to have that bumper pad there in the front. You're going to have your two casters here in the front with those sealed ball bearings there. And then you're also going to have your light kit that comes standard here on the front. So once we turn those on, you're going to have LED lights that not only point out to the front, you're also going to have lights that go out to the side here to be able to show each side of your deck. So whenever you're doing that trimming and that cleanup, you have that light to be able to make sure you're keeping on those lines when mowing in those low light situations. Now, before we hop in the operator station, and talk about all of these features. First thing I'll point out is you are gonna have the high back 20 inch cut and sewn seat here. Nice thing about this seat, for one, you are gonna have the armrest that comes standard. Also with this seat, you are going to have a good amount of curvature here at the back to help keep you in that seat when you're going over those bumpy and rough conditions. And then you're also going to have the hole here in the back that's going to allow for drainage of water if this happens to sit outside or once you're washing it, that water will rock, wash right out the bottom there. And then also, once we flip this seat over, so we're gonna have the dual spring suspension right back here. And then also this seat is going to be adjustable fore and aft. We have a knob right here on the bottom that we can simply unscrew. Once we take that loose, we can slide that seat forward or backward. We're going to have five different positions in which we can set this seat. So therefore you have a good amount of slide there and adjustability to fit those different size of operators. Now, also while you're underneath here, you are gonna have your service interval chart. We talked about earlier how the service on this mower is very, very minimal. So what you're going to see there, check brake system, check mower deck, wash out pour after use, check safety interlock system, check tire pressure. That is one that I didn't mention before that we need to make sure and be checking is that tire pressure. Check deck level, sharpen mower blades, and clean the underside of the deck. So there you go. Lots and lots of easy, easy service 
but it's right there laid out underneath the seat. Now, first thing that we'd point out whenever we get into the operator station is gonna be here on the foot platform. That's gonna be that we have the rubber anti-vibration and anti-slip floor mat. Then also a little display module right here. And this is actually going to be for showing our battery life. Now, over here on the right-hand side, let's start over here. When we're looking here at our control module, first thing that we're going to see is going to be our power button. Now on that power button, we're going to have this little guy right here. This is going to be your key. So if we don't have this in the hole and we try to hit our power button, nothing's going to happen. But once we take this little guy, stick it down into our, power, our hole there, now we can press our power button. We're going to press that once and that is going to put us into standby mode so what that's going to do is that is going to turn on our screen here in the front now as you notice what we're going to have there are green bars on the bottom and a white bar on top that means that we are in standby mode once we go back to our display what we'll notice here is that it's going to give us battery readings it's also going to give us our hour meter here it's going to show our battery percentage here and then also our battery meter right here and tell us that we are in park. Now, to turn the mower fully on, get us out of standby mode, we're gonna hold this down. Then we're gonna hear those beeps. Now what we'll see here on our front screen is that we have a green bar and then green bars also down there at the bottom. Right here, whenever we have green and green here in the front, that means that we are in go mode. We are able to turn on our PTO. So if I reach over here and wanna turn these blades on, Our blades will turn on. If I want to go ahead and run the machine, I can go ahead and go forward, go backward. We can go side to side. And as you can hear right there, guys, very little sound whenever we're not running those blades, almost like a golf cart. So very, very quiet, quiet operation. Now, your handles are going to be just like they would be on any other zero turn. Your right one is gonna control your right wheel. Your left one is gonna control your left wheel. So if you have any trouble driving this, just remember it's going to be just like riding a bike. So whenever we're going forward on a bicycle, if we wanted to go to the left, what we would do is push our right hand forward. So right hand forward sends us over to the left. Now, if we wanted to go to the right, just like on a bicycle, we would push our left stick forward, making us go over to the right. So very, very simple operation. One thing that I would say too about this battery machine is since these are on electric motors, they are gonna be a lot more torquey and a lot more sensitive here at the controls than what you'd have on a normal zero turn that's going to run off of those hydrostatic controls because you have instant reaction because you're hitting a switch on these rather than whenever we had our hydrostatic transmissions on a gas powered mower, those are run off of a completely different system. So a little more torquey, also a little more quick to respond here. So just remember that whenever getting on this mower. Now you are going to have the parking brake here at the handles. So once we throw these out, this is going to initiate that parking brake. Once we pull them in, that's going to relieve the parking brake. Now, these handles are also going to be adjustable. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a bolt nut system over here on the handles right here, where we can adjust these either forward or backward and either up or down. So we have that on both sides here that we can easily adjust. We're also going to have a foot adjusted deck height. So right here, we're gonna have our foot pedal and back here at our controls, we're gonna have our knob that is our selector for height. So what we'd wanna do is we'd wanna push in on our pedal, turn our selector to that height that we desire, let off of our pedal, and that is gonna let our deck down to height. Then to raise that back up, Simply gonna push in on our pedal, turn our height selector to wherever we need it, let off, and there we are. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that on these mowers, we do not have a transportation setting. So on the height of cut, you're not gonna have that locking mechanism that keeps that deck all the way up in the top position. If you are transporting this, going over some obstacles, going up and onto a trailer, into the bed of a pickup, we wanna make sure to set this at the four and a half inch mark, because you are gonna have cutting heights from four and a half inch all the way down to one and a quarter in quarter inch increments. So you want to be at that 
that highest setting whenever we are transporting this mower or if we're driving it from one place to another, make sure to go ahead and raise that up, put it in the four and a half mark as that's going to be the highest you can go on this mower. Now, going back over here to our right-hand controls, looking a little closer here at our control panel, a couple of things you're going to see is over here to the left is gonna be our mode. And we're gonna have a button right down here that will select that different mode. So right here, we have a turtle mode. This is going to be for up to five mile an hour driving. We go up to the rabbit. This is gonna be up to seven mile an hour. Then if we go up, you can notice that this is, has a little picture of a bagger here at the rear. This is going to be our turbo mode. This is going to be used for bagging. And what this does is this actually raises the blade speed rather than the speed of the transaxle. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this machine on. I'm gonna drop it back down into turtle mode, turn those blades on. So that is going to be in our turtle mode. I'm gonna bump it up to. You hear the difference whenever we get into turbo, how much the blade speed changes. So that's gonna be slow. And then there's turbo. So like I said, all this is doing is upping that blade speed to make sure that it is creating enough wind and enough suction to be able to push that grass up back through the chute and into your material collection system or bagger if you have one installed. Now over here, you're also gonna have your light switch, which we pointed out before, just a simple flip on to turn those on, down for off. You are gonna have, of course, your mode button that we just showed, and then your blade on and off, which is just a simple pull up for on push down for off. Then back behind our controls, we are going to have this covered storage panel here. What we're gonna have in here is a tool that is on board that is going to serve a couple of different purposes. So this tool is going to have a 13 millimeter socket here on the end. This is going to be used for adjusting our handles. And this is also going to be used for adjusting our tracking bolts, which are right down here. And then it's also going to be used as a lock whenever we're taking the deck on and off. When we're going back on with that deck, we'll have to use this tool to lock that foot pedal into place to keep it in the right position to get this deck back on. I'll go ahead and drop a link to that video down in the description below as we have done that so that you can see exactly how that is used. Then last but not least, we are gonna have a USB-C right here. So for any of those chargers that you may have that you need to have on board, you do have that USB-C port where you can charge those things right here on board. Now, the only thing over to the left that we're going to have is going to be a cup holder. So right there for whatever beverage you wanna have on board, you do have that available to you. Now, once you get off of the mower and you have that on, it is going to beep like you heard there to let you know, hey, you're off of the mower, you still have it on. So we're gonna reach over. Hit that power button again, get that long beep to let you know that this mower is off. Now, the part that everybody is always curious about, let's talk about the mower deck. Now, on this machine, what we're going to have is the 42-inch XL Deep mower deck. And in 2024 models, you will have the option of getting the 48-inch XL Deep as well. Now, the only difference in these two is that, of course, the 48-inch is going to take a little bit more battery life than the 42 inch. So with this 42 inch deck, like we talked about, Deer advertises that it will confidently mow two acres of full lush grass on that single battery charge. And then with the 48 inch, they are claiming 1.8. Now I haven't been able to test the 48 inch deck. We have not had one of those yet, but I do know that on the 42, you definitely can get the two acres out of that. So you're gonna have all of the same features on this deck as you would on the gas powered mower. You are going to have the washout port you are going to have the anti-scalping wheels on both sides and you are going to have the large discharge chute opening over on the right. You're going to have the ability to put a bagging kit on this mower and also a mulch control kit on this mower as well. Now, the big difference here is like I talked about in the beginning, we have no belts on this machine. So what you're going to have instead are these direct drive electric motors here on top. So whenever you are wanting to take this deck off of this mower to either do any cleaning or changing those blades, whatever you're going to do, what you have are two electrical connectors on each one of those motors that are super 
super easy to take off. And then you're able to unpin this deck in three different spots, take it off and you're good to go. I actually have a video over doing this that I will drop down in the description below so that you can check that out if you wanna see, but very, very easy to do any maintenance on this deck. And then also your foot platform here is gonna be removable. You can take this off to be able to do any of that cleaning on top, making sure that we're keeping that good and clean. Main thing that we need to worry about here is leaving buildup on top of that deck to happen to cause any rust or damage like that. We don't have to worry about buildup on top so much because we don't have the belts that that could possibly damage, but we wanna make sure that we're still keeping the top of our deck clean. Now, of course, here at the rear, we have already mentioned our charging port, so just make sure, remember where that's at. You're also gonna have a hitch that comes standard with this mower. You're gonna have a 250 pound towing capacity, so if you are doing such things as pulling maybe a fertilizer spreader or a tow behind sprayer, whatever those things are, just make sure that the weight of the machine plus the weight of the product does not exceed that 250 pounds. And then you're also going to have a switch right back here on your right fender. That is going to be used to put this mower into push mode. I have a video going over this as well, so I'll make sure to leave that down in the description below. But this is basically gonna be used in case this mower for some reason stops and those electric motors are locked up and it's very hard to push it. You're gonna be able to put these handlebars in push your push mode button and be able to get this mower out of those situations that you're in. If this happens to die in the middle of a mow or we have some sort of other mechanical issue, then you are able to move this without damaging those electric motors. Now, last but not least, let's talk about a few dimensions, warranty and price. So dimensions wise, this is mainly going to be for getting this mower in and out of gates if we have them or getting this mower put up into storage, if we have a place to put it. So what we're looking at is 75 and a half inches from the front to the rear. Height wise, we're looking at 43 and a half inches here to the top of the seat. Width wise is gonna vary depending on which deck you have. Now, if we have the 42 inch deck with the chute down, we are gonna be just a touch over 50 inches. If we raise that chute up, we can get that down to 46 and a half. So just know that even though this is a 42 inch deck, the narrowest that you can get it is gonna be around 46 and a half inches. So keep that in mind for any of those gates, storage areas, whatever that is. Once we go up to the 48 inch deck, whenever we have the chute down, we're gonna be a little over 62 and a half inches wide. Then if we raise that chute up, we can get that down to right around 53 inches. Now, as far as weight goes, the 42 inch deck, we're gonna be at 490 pounds. Once we add that 48 inch deck, we're adding right at 50 pounds. So we can look at about 540 pounds with the 48 inch deck. Now warranty on this machine, what we're gonna have is a three year, 200 hour bumper to bumper warranty and a five year, 200 hour just on the battery alone. Now you do have the option of adding more coverage to this mower bumper to bumper and then also the option of jumping the battery warranty up to a 10 year, 400 hour warranty. Now keep in mind, those are gonna be at additional cost, but if you want to add extra warranty to this machine, you do have that option. You'll just need to talk to your dealer when you go in to buy this machine. Now starting out price as of 2023 on this mower, is gonna start out right around 63.99. Now, keep in mind, that's gonna be for the 42 inch model. That is also going to be list price. So when you go in and you're looking for one of these mowers, you wanna make sure and talk to that salesman, see if there are any type of incentive programs going on, see if there are any discount programs that you might qualify for. And you may also ask about financing options if this is something that you're not wanting to spend all of that money in one lump sum to make sure you get that price to fit your budget. But guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are needing any John Deere parts at all, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.